What's going on? What's going on? What's happening, fellas? Let's get right into it. So today I'm going to give you guys seven things that a man should never do. All right. Seven things a man should never do. I don't care if you consider yourself as an alpha. I don't care if you consider yourself as a beta. They got this new thing going around, uh, Sigma Male, which I'm going to make a video here in the future, probably in about a couple of days, because I had a guy ask me about this whole Sigma Male thing. It's kind of a blend between beta and alpha. Well, really not. It's kind of like an outlier. You know, it's, they say it's equal, uh, equivalent to an alpha, just in different. Uh, they have different characteristics. But anyway, seven things a man should never do. I don't want to ever see you guys doing these things. And if you're doing these things, I need you to stop them. Because all it's going to do, if you stop doing these things, all it's going to do is make you a better man overall. All right, let's get right into it. Now, the first thing a man should never do in his life is complain. Complain. Nobody likes a complainer. Nobody likes a person who whines and complains and mopes about problems in their life. All right. As men. All right. As men, our duty, our duty is to protect and to provide for the people around us. It is very hard to do that when you're complaining. Your girl don't want to hear you complaining. Your boss don't want to hear you complaining. If you got kids, bro, your kids don't even want to hear you complaining, G. People may sympathize with you because it's a natural human instinct to sympathize and to have empathy and to connect and relate. But overall, guys, complaining is a no-go for men, bro. It is very unattractive. If you want to know the worst way, the worst way to act with a woman and the best way to turn her off and have her just absolutely repulsed by you, go to her and complain to her about your problems. All right. I just want you to try that. Go to her and complain to her about the stuff you're going through. Now, I've I've heard, bro, and I've been hearing guys say, well, it's OK for you to complain to your girl. If you with the right woman, she going to listen to you complain. Gee, look, let me tell you the simple fact. All right. Let me debunk this because I'm going to be honest, bro. I'm really sick of hearing this. I'm really sick of hearing this because all it is is a cope to be weak. All right, it's a cope for men who are weak and who don't know how to, who don't have emotional intelligence, who don't, who don't know how to handle their own problems without going to their girl. Bro, I'm gonna tell you this, bro, straight up. As much as your girl may sympathize with you and and, ha and be a, a crying shoulders for you or whatever you need her to be, she ultimately doesn't want to hear you complain, G. All right, your girl does not want to hear that. Your girl wants you to be strong. You want me to tell you what you want or what you should want? You should want your girl wondering all the time why you never come to her with your problems that's what you should want i know it sounds weird all right and there's gonna be some women that say well i want a man that comes to me with his problems bro we all know women don't say what they want what they really want because over time if you keep complaining to your girl bro she is going to get turned off by you and she is going to ultimately lose respect for you bro that is the game that is how life works you as a man you want to be the people that other people come to with their complaints. You want to be the rock and the mountain that everybody else comes to. All right. You can't be that if you always complaining, if you always moping and, and whining about everything that's going on in your life. Look, I'm an advocate for strong men. All right. I am sick of all this weak, whiny stuff that guys going on, got going on. They got this mental health thing going on. I do believe mental health is a thing, but not in the way that people try to make it. All right. I do believe PTSD is a thing. All right. I do believe uh, bipolar disorder and stuff like that is a thing. But when you try to push this whole mental health thing to say, oh, men should cry and men should be more feminine and men should be more emotional, bro, that is a setup. If you guys cannot see, bro, the, the agenda that they have in this world today to make men weak, bro, is a reason for it. I'm not going to go into the reasons because that's not the point of the video, but there's a reason why they want you to be weak, G. Okay, there's an, and this is for the same reason. And for the same reason why they want women to be strong and masculine. 
It's an agenda. So you can't go with the propaganda, guys. Stop complaining. And especially stop complaining to your girl. If you want to complain, if you want to have a venting moment, go do it with your homeboys. Because your homeboys, that's what your homeboys are there for. And if you ain't got no homeboys to complain to, we live in a worldwide digital age. There's many guys you can hit up for feedback and go vent your problems to. There's many groups and discords, networking groups like that. You can go talk to men. I'm actually going to start a discord here in the future, a men's group where we can all collaborate and talk about our problems and talk about our goals and talk about the things we want to achieve in life and we can help each other. I'm starting that not soon, but it will be in the future. But that's just an example of things where you can actually complain and let out all your problems. But bro, number one. Don't complain to your girl, G. I said this before. Don't go crying and complaining to your woman. She does not want to hear that. Don't let her lie to you and tell you that she wants to hear that. She does not. She will tolerate it for a while. But after a certain amount of time, she going to think you a little punk and you weak and you're emotionally unintelligent. Next thing you should never do as a man, guys, is gossip and hate. All right. This is actually a feminine trait because I never get mad at women when they gossip. Never, never get mad at because that's what women do. Now, I don't think that it's a totally moral thing to do, but that's just what women do. You know, like you ever been like got been around your girl, went to go see your girl and she like, man, did you hear what such and such did? And I heard this and this. And then like, especially when you listen to two girls talk. That girl, you heard this, and girl, you heard that, and I can't believe he did this, and I can't believe she did that. That's how girls That's how girls communicate, bro. That's how they vibe. Men, we don't do that, bro. When I'm around men, bro, and the first thing, and if I hear any man gossiping about another man, bro, I'm removing myself from the environment. I don't do that, or I'm going to check him and tell him, hey, bro, we don't do that over here, bro. We don't talk about other people like that over here, bro. Now, if you praising somebody and you're talking about somebody in a good way, that's fine. That's not gossip. That's just acknowledgement. That's just calling a spade a spade. But if you're sitting there gossiping about people, bro, spreading rumors about people, you're not a real man, G. I'm sorry, you're not a real man. All right? And if you hating on, on people, bro, you're not a real man either, bro. Hating, hating, bro, that is for immature females, G. All right? I'm not going to even say it's for females. It is for immature females. So if you're an immature female, go ahead and keep hating on people. You know, it's crazy. Like when I look at like I, I got like certain influencers that I follow on social media and things like that. And I go check out some of their posts. And I look through their comments and bro, you wouldn't believe the amount of grown men typing up hate comments. I'm like, bro, you a grown man. How do you even have time to sit there and hate on another grown man? G? It just don't even make no sense. And you know, the crazy thing about this stuff, the real crazy thing about this stuff is social media is crazy, G. Because 90% of those dudes would not say that to that man's face. Because we already know how the world works, bro. Because there's there's consequences to saying something to somebody's face. But there's no consequences to typing something on the, on the internet, on your phone. It's just not. We all know. That's why when I get hate comments on my social media, I already told y'all how I feel about that on one of my videos. But one of the things I think, and I'm like, bro, I'm not even going to be mad at this person. Because I know... They wouldn't tell me that in real life. If you saw me, if you stood in front of me, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be saying that negative stuff to me in real life, G. And if you were, if you did, then you already know what's going to happen, G. But I'm just saying, y'all get my point, bro. Grown men should not be hating and grown men should not be gossiping, bro. That is very feminine, bro, and it's very immature. It's very unattractive. Then please don't be doing this around women, bro. Because when women see men gossiping, all she think is that you a beta and you jealous. All right, you ain't going to get no kind of pull, no kind of brownie points from gossiping and hating on people in front of your girl, G. All right, let's move on. Hey, number three thing that a man should never do is tolerate disrespect. All right, and I'm going to say this proudly. You should never tolerate disrespect from anyone, G. Anyone under any circumstance. I don't care who it is. I don't care who it is. I don't even care if it's your parent, G. All right, you shouldn't tolerate this. Now, I'm not saying you got to retaliate from the disrespect when if your parent disrespect you, but just let people know, I don't, hey, don't talk to me like that. I'm a grown man. 
As a grown man, you should have some type of pride about yourself, G, that you will never tolerate disrespect from anyone. Not a man, not a woman, not anybody, bro. I don't tolerate disrespect from anyone. One of my most cherished possessions, all right, one of my most cherished possessions are my kids, bro. And I don't even tolerate disrespect from them. I tell them to their face. First, don't disrespect me. <laughs> All right. Second, don't disrespect anyone. I give them that that general principle rule. But bro, you should don't tolerate disrespect. And and going back to women, because you know you guys know I talk about women a lot. If you tolerate disrespect from a woman, bro, that is the worst thing you can do because women, some women have this keen thing, this keen sense of of sensing out a beta male and a man that they can take advantage of. Most women want to manipulate you or they have a desire to manipulate you. The best woman in the world, if you gave her a chance to manipulate you, she would. It is female nature, G. And the moment you tolerate disrespect from her, you open up that door to her trying to manipulate you. So if you're dealing with a chick, and let's say it's a new chick and y'all start dating and she disrespects you in any way. You know how you fix this? You check it the first time it happens. Like guys want to know, how do I get my girl to stop disrespecting me? Bro, you shouldn't have let it happen in the first place. It is far easier to stop a problem from ever happening versus trying to fix the problem while it's going on. All right, so if somebody disrespect you, G, I don't care if it's a man too. You let them know up front because there's some, there's some beta males some weak beta males that's going to, that's going to, you're going to let them disrespect you one time and they're going to take that inch and turn it into a mile. So you got to understand this as well, bro. Anytime somebody disrespects you or gets out of line with you, all right, try to test your masculinity, G, you check them up front. Hey, I know we just met. I just want to let you know. And I mean this with the kindest heart. I don't tolerate people talking to me like that. You ain't got to be mean, G. I'm telling you, you, you don't have to disrespect them back. And you don't have to be violent. You don't have to be aggressive. Just let them know up front. Hey, look, I, I hey, I, I, I like you. All right, I respect you, but I'm not, I'm not that type of dude that tolerates disrespect. Never have, never will. So let's, let's not, let's not talk like that. And I guarantee you, bro, if you check them the first time, it probably won't happen again. Nine times out of ten, it won't happen again. Now, if it persists. Then you may need to take uh, more uh, stringent me measures or maybe you just need to remove that person from your environment. But the point is, guys, never tolerate disrespect as a man. Next thing you should never do as a man is make excuses. All right. Excuses are for losers. OK, I don't care what you failed at. I don't care what you came short of accomplishing. I don't care what went wrong in your life. You should never make excuses, fellas. Never make excuses. I don't care if it was totally not your fault. You should never make excuses. Excuses are for losers. All right. The goal as a man, one of the facets as a man is taking full accountability and full responsibility for anything positive or negative that happens in your life. Making excuses just shows that you don't have control of your own life. You don't have control of your own life. I'm going to give y'all a quick example. I remember one day, I, I told you I used to sell cars. I was late for work. All right, late for work. I think work started at about 9 a.m. I got there about 9.30. Traffic was bad. I don't know if y'all like driving in Houston, but it is a nightmare some mornings, all right? Some evenings too, rush hour. So I'm on my way to work. I ran a little bit late, man. I was sitting in traffic boat for about 25, 30 minutes. So I pull up to work and I'm one of the managers there. So Normally, you know, you can slide with stuff like this, but I had a real strict boss, real strict boss. He wasn't, he wasn't with that being late stuff, which I definitely understand. Being prompt to being on time is important. But anyway, back to the story, he came to me. He was like, Keith, why you late? You know, I see you late. What's going on, man? Why you late? You don't usually show up late. What happened? I was like, look, man, it's my fault, G. All right, it will never happen again, bro. My bad. All right. Now, my boss was kind of crazy, G. All right. And I knew what type of dude he was. And I knew the last thing he wanted to hear was an excuse. OK, let me tell you this, bro. People would rather you take accountability and just admit it was your fault 
versus make an excuse. You 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 seem way more credible, bro. All right, you'll get way more pull and way more status if you just take accountability and don't blame anybody else. I'm just thinking and imagining if I would have been like, oh, well, it was traffic, it was an accident, it wasn't my fault, I left work on time, I'm never usually late. Bro, it's it's like he he may he may have accepted that, but in the back of his head, he's like, this dude don't have control of his life. And over time, if that persists, then it's 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 gonna be an issue, bro. So like the next time I show up late, he gonna excuse it because he know I can take accountability for my life. But if the next time I'm late, and then I blame it on something else or what a dog chewed up my suit or something like that, bro, it's not gonna work, bro. As a man. Excuses are for losers, G. They're for losers. You should never make excuses as a man. You are the captain of your life. You are the star of your own movie. You control your life. Nobody else does. You shouldn't want to put your life in nobody else's hands under any, under any circumstances. That's why I always say, and guys get this kind of confused. I say if a girl leaves you or if a girl cheats on you, it's your fault. Yes, it is your fault. You don't make excuses. You don't say, well, she did this or she did that. No, you chose that girl. You saw the red flags. All right. And maybe she was a good girl, but you got weak and you the reason why she cheated on you. Maybe she was a bad girl. You chose that girl, G. That is your responsibility. You chose that chick. I'm tired of women can do this, bro. Women have the luxury. Women and kids. They have the luxury of making excuses, bro. All right, making excuses and throwing the blame on somebody else. As a man, it is your duty to not make excuses and to take accountability, G. All right, the fifth thing you should never do as a man is simp, okay? Made a video about this. All right, I'm gonna put the link in the description. Y'all go check that video out about how you know you a simp. But G, don't simp, man. Never simp, never simp for a woman, G. All right, I, I've never condoned simp. I made a, I'm, some of my content that I make because I'm not one of these red pill rage dudes and I'm not talking trash about women and I'm not belittling women and saying you should completely ignore women and don't open the door for them. I had some dudes try to call me a simp. I'm like, gee, you can ask any woman I've ever been with. I'm far from a simp, G, far from a simp. I'm just a gentleman, G. I'm an old school gentleman. You know, I open the door. I pull a chair out. You know, I tell a woman she's beautiful. I may bring her flowers some days. I'm far from a simp. I just know how to treat a woman because women don't try me like that, G. They'll test me every now and then because that's female nature. But women don't try me like that. I don't get women making rules for me. Like I posted on Instagram today. Women break rules for alphas and they make rules for betas. I'm going to say it again in case you guys got confused. Women break rules for alphas and they make rules for betas. I don't have women making too many rules for me, G. It never happens, all right? So the, the content that I put out, it is for you to be a better man, not this red pill dude who walking around at the end of your life, you lonely because you never understood how to really treat a woman, all right? But that's different from simping, all right? Simping is a lot different. Simping is when you let women take advantage of you. All right. Simping is when you don't get a reciprocal return from all the good stuff you're doing for her. Simping is when you tolerate disrespect. Simping is when you letting a woman treat you less than what you are. All right. Simping is when you 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 on OnlyFans and you liking these IG models pics and you 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 falling for thirst traps on, on on social media and stuff like that. That's simping. Okay. But treating a woman like a gentleman. That's not simping, G. I know that I know in 2024 women are a little bit different. So you guys feel like y'all gotta, you know, toughen up. You know what I mean? You know, on the treatment, y'all gotta kinda get rid of some of the chivalry. But that's just the type of women a lot of you guys are uh, are going for, bro. I don't go for women that if I can't be chivalrous with them, I don't I don't rock with them. I go for women that appreciate the chivalry. So it ain't being a simp. They love it. They love it. I love it. Like somebody said on a first date, you should never take a girl out to dinner. G, I'm going to be honest with you, G. 90% of my first dates, I've taken women out to dinner and it never backfired, G. I've never had them try to treat me like a beta because I took them out to dinner on a first date. Because the real thing is the dinner was for me. It wasn't even for her. She just so happened to have a date with me that night. The dinner was for me. I love good experiences. I love eating good food. I love dressing up and going out. So why would I why would I ignore that and then go to some coffee shop 
with sweats on just because I got this first date rule. Nah, G. Bro, you guys are you guys consume so much toxic information, you don't even know what's real anymore, G. All right, so for all you guys talking about the you can't take a girl out to dinner on a first date, bro, maybe you can't. Maybe you can't, G. All right, but I know a lot of dudes that can, G. If you take a woman out to dinner on a first date and then she starts to treat you like a simp, G, that or, or beta, there's two reasons for that. Either she already thought you was a beta originally, okay, or she just not a high quality woman, bro. Not a high quality woman. I said, I've taken women out for dinner on the first day and they never backfired. They tr they treated me like a king, G. They ended up simping for me after the fact, G. Every, t every time, G. So it's really all about you. Stop blaming these women. Stop blaming these women about stuff, bro. You guys, some of you guys are just honestly, bro, I'm gonna keep it G with you. Some of you guys are just honestly picking the wrong chicks. All right, I'm not going to lie, a lot of these women today are 304s or gold diggers or whatever you want to call them. That's why you got to get in good environments. That's why you got to go places where good women hang out. Virtuous women are not going to try to take advantage of you or treat you bad just because you took her on a first date, bro. I said virtuous women. All right, but the big point about this one, guys, is just don't be a simp. I think I made that clear. All right, so number six thing, and we almost to the end, fellas, that you should never do as a man is be a nice guy, all right? And this is more geared towards not really being a simp, but being like a people pleaser, looking for validation and acceptance all the time. People will respect you 10 times more if you show them that you don't care what they think at the end of the day. Now, I'm not against showing up as your best self in formal or business events or, or places where you got to network and stuff because you want to care what people think to an extent. You don't want to go in there dressed in pajamas when everybody wears when everybody wearing suits because you don't you don't care what people think. All right. That's that's totally different. But being a nice guy and trying to impress people all the time and just accepting things just for people's validation and you think that's going to gain their respect, G, that's the wrong move. All right? You should never try to be a nice guy, not with women, not with men, not with anybody, fellas, okay? Being a nice guy never works. Y'all ever heard that saying, nice guys finish last? That is true. Gentlemen don't finish last, all right? Men who treat people good don't finish last. All right, virtuous men don't finish last. Nice guys, nice guys finish last. All right, and that's the simple truth about it. Seventh thing that you should never do as a man, and if this isn't the most important one, it's probably one of the most important ones out of the seven. You should never betray a brother or a friend, okay? I think betrayal is one of the worst things that you can do, all right, as a man. All right, betrayal and like and back in the day day like back in the day before we always here back when they used to ride horses and ride around with axes and swords bro betrayal treachery that got you killed g even to this day there are some countries that treachery gets you killed in any society in any religion in any community bro treachery betrayal is the worst thing you can do as a man g all right, nobody accepts betrayal. You betray me, G, you done. I don't even I don't even want to see your face anymore, G. I really don't want to see your face anymore, bro, because loyalty is important. That is, is very hard to find these days. All right, because in order to be loyal, you got to be brave. Okay, cuz you can't you can't be brave or you can't be loyal if you're not brave. This is why I don't hang out with a lot of guys. This is why I don't have a lot of friends because I know most men are cowards. You know, people say that they loyal. I'm loyal. I'm loyal. I'm loyal. I'm like, in order for you to be loyal, you have to be brave because stuff is going to happen. Things are going to happen. Let's say me and the guy, we walking down the street and some big dudes bigger than us try to come attack us. If the guy that I'm with is not brave, he can't be loyal. He's going to leave me. He's going to run because he's not brave enough to stand up against real stuff. So you guys got to get this. Y'all say y'all homeboys are loyal. How they loyal if they cowards? You know if your homeboy a coward or not. You know if some hit the fan, if your homeboy really get down with you. All right? That is a test of loyalty, guys. You guys really have to understand this. I know he probably loves you. I know he probably wants the best for you. I know y'all probably been through it all, and he bought uh, Madden 2024 for you, or whatever you guys do. You know what I'm saying? But if he ain't brave, he cannot be loyal. 
I only hang around dudes who I know are brave, bro. All right, who I know are brave because that is how you that is how you find true loyalty. But bro, if you ever betray a man, bro, you you like you, you like the worst dude in the world to be honest with you, bro. Betrayal is worse. Like I know guys who will sleep with their homeboys' girlfriends. Bro, you are like the scum on the ground, bro. Real talk, if you will ever sleep with your homeboy's girl or even his ex, G, all right? Never do stuff like this, bro. If any of you guys have done this, bro, you're forgiven, all right? But never do it again, bro, all right? So if you're even looking at your homeboy girl, all right? If you're even looking at anything that your homeboy got with the envious mind, bro, you need to get rid of that, G. It's a natural human thing to be envious. It's a natural human thing to have jealousy. And, so, and there's only a few people that can actually control it. That's why you got to work on yourself. Do You have to understand it about yourself. Because I know when you see somebody that got something that you ain't got it that's better than you, you get a little bit of envy. Don't lie. I don't care how much of a great man you are. You get a little bit of envy. But it's your job to understand how to control that and to notice it and to be aware of it. All right? But betrayal, bro. Betrayal. I don't tolerate that, G. You shouldn't either. You shouldn't tolerate that from anybody else, and you definitely shouldn't tolerate that from yourself, G. Never betray another man. Never, ever, bro. Never betray another man because your loyalty is one of your most prized possessions that you have as a man, G. Straight up. This, this is 100% real, G. All right? I'm not going to sugarcoat it or nothing. I hate men who are treacherous, bro. I really do. I don't even care if I wasn't the one that he betrayed. If I find out you betrayed somebody else, let's say I've been hanging out with you for six months and then some get around and I find out you betrayed somebody else, bro, I'm cutting you loose, G. Straight, like at that moment that I found out, I'm getting up, I'm getting my stuff and I'm out the door, bro. I do not tolerate disloyal men, G. Now, women, women gonna be disloyal. There's just women. We ain't even talking about them. But I'm talking about as a man, bro. There's a thing called brotherhood, and that's what's really lacking in our society. You know why? Because most men are cowards, G. They cowards. They don't have the ability to be loyal. Because as soon as something go down that's real, that they're scared of, or as soon as a, a woman come try to seduce them, as soon as they get an opportunity that they find is advantageous, they're going to take it and leave their brother behind. All right. This is why like I said this. Why I don't rock with a lot of dudes these days, bro, because most dudes are simply cowards. They have no morals and they will betray you in a heartbeat, G. All right. But you don't be like that, G. If you got betrayed by somebody, bro, you need to take that as a learning lesson for you to never, ever be like that. All right. All right. So these were the seven things a man should never do ever ever do if you sustain from doing these things it's just gonna make you a better high quality top tier man i appreciate you guys for watching the video it's your boy kd shout out to all my new subscribers if you haven't liked the video go ahead and hit that like button man i appreciate you guys for all your support we finally hit 7,000 subscribers you heard me we on our way up man i appreciate all you guys that's been watching commenting my videos even the people who be who be commenting you know saying they disagree or be who be trying to talk trash all the hate man i appreciate that too because it just helps out the algorithm <laughs> all right it's your boy kd man we out of here baby